Hi, dear friends and subscribers of uh, Cricket Happenings. Uh, welcome to your show, favorite show here. And well, uh, what you're going to look at today uh, is, as you know, Ireland is going to clash with England tomorrow. And what a match. It will be a revenge match for England, for sure, because Ireland were the ones who actually defeated England in the World Cup with Kevin O'Brien slamming the uh, fastest ever century uh, in, a, in a World Cup. Uh, so definitely, and there's just going to be one match which is going to be played before the test match will start. So Ireland and England are clashing tomorrow at the CONCAP ground here in Dublin. Uh, and um, just talking, as I said, for England, it is like sweet revenge for them. And for, uh, for England, as we know, they are into a real high after uh, beating a world-class team like India 4-0 and displacing them uh, from the number one position and, uh, you know, pushing them to the number three spot. So that would give them a lot of confidence, but the team is not having the full composition. There's only one player who actually played in the World Cup 2011, and that was Jonathan Trott, who is there in the team. Other than that, they are all, uh, I mean, uh, this is a team which is lacking all those big faces. Uh, the reason be big names, rather, the reason being that uh, the Indian tour is still going on there. So England, uh, and uh, you know, what's the very important thing is that Ian Morgan, uh, who was playing for Ireland at once upon a time today, is going to uh, you know cross words with the same team uh, and and the good thing about that is Ian Morgan is the captain of the England cricket team uh, after uh, you know leaving Ireland and joining England and Ian Morgan being a captain that itself speaks a lot uh, in fact Andy Flower the coach has already mentioned that Ian Morgan is having a very good head on his shoulders and uh, he, he really uh, is a very thinking cricketer and so that's good so Ian Morgan so he will have a chance to actually cross words with uh, Ireland uh, and he knows a lot of people with whom he has played. William Porterfield, the captain at the other end of the spectrum of Ireland, uh, is Ian Morgan's close friend uh, right from the day he started playing for Ireland and now playing for England. Um, Craig Kisbeater and Jonathan Todd will open the innings. So Craig Kisbeater is a very, atta very attacking batsman there. And for England, there are a lot of new faces. So there are a lot of new persons who are in the team who would actually get an opportunity uh, to knock on the doors uh, through this performance. Ravi Bopara gets an opportunity. Jonathan Todd, after the injury against India, he didn't play in the remaining matches. So he gets, an, um, gets a knock there. James Taylor, as you know, is touted as uh, one of the youngsters who is really making waves in England because uh, he slammed uh, two centuries against the playing for English Lions against the Sri Lanka A team. Uh, Ian Morgan himself, the captain. Ben Stokes is the another uh, batsman who is playing for them. Samit Patel uh, is playing for them. Chris Wokes, as you know, uh, Chris Wokes, uh, when he came, he came with a bang into English cricket uh, against Australia, I reckon. Uh, and then Scott Borthwick, Jay Dernbash, you know, he bowls very good slower deliveries. He had a good mix-up of deliveries. And Graham Onions gets a chance here uh, to show his uh, swing prowess here. Now, as far as um, just uh, speaking about the players here concerns, uh, uh, James Taylor is from Leicestershire. Uh, Jonathan Barstow is from Yorkshire. Uh, and uh, if, my, if I'm right, probably he's David Barstow's son, who was a former wicketkeeper of uh, England. David Barstow also played for Yorkshire. Uh, Durham has Ben Stokes and Scott Borthwick. So these are the new faces. Uh, but um, as far as Ireland is concerned, well, they have William Porterfield, captain, who's leading the side. And William Porterfield, as you know, he's uh, in some good form here. Now, Paul Sterling, one of the exciting opening, uh, opening batsmen from Ireland, uh, already scored uh, three centuries, I'm told, or sec two centuries, uh, probably looking out for a third one against England. He's some uh, prime form here. Ed Joyce, as you know, he played in the World Cup. He has moved from England to Ireland. So that is also something that Ed Joyce uh, is going to enjoy. Uh, then the Bryan brothers, Niall O'Brien, who's such a wonderful player. And there are seven players from Ireland today who are playing full-time cricket and they are representing Ireland, uh, I mean, representing the English county cricket teams like Niall O'Brien, Kevin O'Brien, Paul Sterling, uh, just to name a few. Uh, Gary Wilson is another all-rounder who's in the team. Uh, now, Kevin O'Brien, you know what, uh, what his passion for me is. He also is one very beautiful century there in the English county cricket scene. Um, and then we have Alex Cusack. Uh, Trent Johnston will be manning the pace of that along with uh, Boyle Ranking, who is also playing in the English county cricket league. So he, he's, he will be sharing the new ball with Trent Johnston. Uh, John Mooney, who can also bat a bit and he's bowled some good off spin. And then George Dockrell, one of the other talented uh, bowlers. So after Paul Sterling, I think George Dockrell is the one to watch for. His left arm spin, he bowls very economically. We saw in the World Cup, he also had uh, the Indian team in trouble at once upon a time. And then, uh, well, as I said, this uh, this is Clone Tariff, which is uh, Clone Tariff is the uh, ground. I'm told it's a very short ground, 
and it's very easy to score. So probably we're going to see some big hits. But the only problem here, uh, as far as I know, is that the weather could be a big factor. I'm told that the weather is not um, really congenial in the sense there could be rain. Uh, and well, one hopes the rain stays away because there's just one match going to be played. And hope uh, we have a good game of cricket here in CONCACAF in Dublin. Uh, well, other than that, uh, I don't have anything else to uh, really uh, cover uh, dear cricket fans, friends and subscribers. Uh, there's not, not, uh, there is uh, no other news that I would like to give other than this. Uh, on this note, uh, I would like to end my cricket show for today. Uh, see you all in my next cricket show. Yes, tomorrow uh, the, the Sri Lankan board presidents will even take on the Australians before the first test starts. So that is uh, a two match for which Australia will get some practice uh, and Australia are probably uh, just going to experiment with their pace bowlers and spinners and see what comes out of it because they have to play three test matches. Uh, so that is one match which is coming up and then uh, England and India will be clashing the one-day internationals. Uh, uh, that's it from me, your host Ram, for the Cricket Happening Show for now. See you all in my next show. Thank you.